Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemsicol and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how excited I have been for this game's release. I was on holiday actually, it came out on the 30th of August and I was on holiday, I was away and when I found out I was going to be away I was absolutely gutted. I have been, like I say, waiting for this game to come out for so, so long. It is very theme hospitally. I've been following the guys over on Twitter and like receiving updates and everything and I honestly cannot wait to get it i've got it over on steam so if you would like to get it you can head over there to get the game there is 10 percent discount at the moment i think for a few more days maybe let's go ahead and start new game oh my at goodness at two point hospital over 52 percent of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassion and healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. <laughs> Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf? <laughs> I'm teeing off Honestly, can't wait. I'm so looking forward to this. I haven't actually seen any gameplay footage or anything. I kind of tried to steer away from watching gameplay before I get the game. I like to just get it all new and fresh oh welcome to two point county i'm albert crank i'll be your trusty advisor on this journey so we're a machine we're going to go through like a little tutorial here this is hogsport and here's your first hospital click on it to get started so i think yeah there's different areas different locations where we can have hospitals yeah low, <laughs> lower bollocks but um we have to start in Hogsport. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. So let's do that. Let's get started. <gasps> Ooh. I ho Honestly, I hope this is as good as I am thinking it's going to be. Can't wait. Two Point Hospital. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? looking around okay so first things first you'll probably want to look around to move around the hospital hold the right mouse button and drag move the cursor to the edge of the screen use the w a s and d keys okay so we can i'm sure we can also zoom out move the camera oh it's like a little little tutorial that okay Right, okay, oh, reception. We need to build a reception. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. So let's build a reception desk. Let's, so where are we building? Okay, over here. Buy a reception desk. 40,000. And then how? Rotate the item. Hold the left mouse button. Uh, okay, so I mean we can... Okay, we can... Spin it around like that. Should we place it? Okay, let's place it kind of like here at the front. That looks good enough to me. A thousand. Receptionist. Great. We'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one. So let's get... Oh, this is just bringing back my theme hospital uh, days. So let's hire someone and we want an assistant so oh okay so they have a star so this is they're all one star but then these two have oh customer service increased reception and retail skills 50 percent customer service skill and 50 percent cost oh and then there, this is their wage over here so i mean let's go lucy looks quite good lucy has got 50 percent customer service but she's she's the cheapest okay i mean let's go for her will work for peanuts a natural mentor appreciates wallpaper oh my god did you just hear that you know who you are that sounds just like the hospital it's crazy right let's place the assistant down she'll go over to the reception oh a gp's office 
We need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. So we need to build a GP's office. To build a room, click on the rooms button and pick one from the list with a room selected, drag it out the floor plan. Sounds pretty simple. Let's just take a little look at Lucy here on reception. <laughs> okay, so rooms... I really like kind of the old school simple graphics on this it's kind of honestly i think it reminds me of um like wallace and gromit's characters do you not think what about here let's go for gp's office there and then i think we'll put a door over on this side actually door over there how do we spin? Oh, so it's just left for spinning. Let's, oh, why can't we place his desk? Oh my goodness. Okay, then we place his desk and then mm, filing cabinet. We can add other things as well, but oh, extinguishers, plants. Okay, let's just leave that for now. That's what we needed to add. So we'll just add what we needed to add. That was a really weird announcement, right? I didn't know whether something was running in the back of my computer or something, but no, that was, that was on the game. Okay, <laughs> Doctor Who, excellent. Now we'll need a doctor to run. Okay, so of course we need to get a doctor. So back down onto the higher and let's get, to oh, so we've got a two star doctor here. He's got 15% diagnosis skill in GP's office and, oh. Please respect the hospital. I don't, what's different? Oh, GP1, no, GP2. Hmm. I'm just going to turn those announcements down slightly, I think, because they are quite loud. Tannoy announcement. Maybe DJ volume can go down. Tannoy volume. That's that's all right. Maybe that's that'll be good. Okay, so let's hire. Yeah, I mean, Ernie. Should we go with Ernie? He's got, like, two special things there. And he's 20,000, but... Will work for peanuts, has an elegant bag. I mean, yeah. Oh, we paid to recruit. Look, 2,528 to recruit. Let's go with Ernie. We'll place him in the GP's office there. Hospital open. Good news. The hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Okay, let's, let's little, is somebody going to come? I was zooming and rotating. Yeah, I'm, I've been doing that. Keep an eye out for our per first patient. Where is our first patient? Let's take a look, actually. Let's zoom out. It's pretty, it's pretty big space, to be honest. Oh, look, we've got to, like, look around. Zoom the camera, rotate the camera. We've got to zoom in and out. Loads. And then do we get, like, rewards for that? Oh, look, our first. Hang on. Our first person oh what's going on with <laughs> lucy wake up lucy in the event of an earthquake please stay still oh i just lifted the camera up like that okay what's this guy's name milo oh we've diagnosed him yes We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. Oh, we're going to have to build a pharmacy. Okay, let's look at this message first. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms. And modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times, when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost 7600 to build. What would you like to do? So, yeah, so when we get a patient that we haven't got the treatment rooms for, we can either send them home or we can get them to wait whilst we build things that we need for them. So let's just tell them to wait there. And then we will build... A pharmacy so let's build oh so it will he only wait for I wonder if he'll only wait for a certain period of time or what the deal is I mean should we build it here that seems like a good place right by I feel like lots of the people who come to the hospital just need a quick pharmacy visit and then they can go so let's place that there I 
don't know what this is. Oh, a drug mixer. Okay, we'll place the drug mixer over there. And then... Oh, no, I can click on the tick. Can I click on the tick? Yeah, I can click on the tick. Okay, I was, was not understanding that there. Now we need... Nurse, to the, nurse to the pharmacy. Now we need to find a good nurse. Oh, look at that, Dr. Isabel Digestive. Oh, whoa. Nurse Donald Cups. He is extremely expensive, but look at him. Motivation, diagnostics, treatment. Is it worth getting him, do you think? 20% treatment skill in the pharmacy. He's a lot of money. But you know what? Donald Cups. Oh, he's terribly dull. He's hygienic. He giggles at trombones. He sounds like a bit of a jerk, to be honest. What about Dennis Digestive? He has got the uh, the treatment. He's positive. He's unhygienic. He's embarrassed by who he is. I mean, then none of them sound. Uh, do you know? Let's go with Donald. He can be terribly dull. That's fine. As long as he cures the patients, we don't care. Oh wow! Look, have we got a little queue now? Got a little queue. I, I want to place some seats for them. We'll get some items. Let's place a bench or two for them. Oh, these benches are bigger than I. I thought I could. Mm, can I fit one in there? I'm gonna have to change the doors maybe. Let's place a bench there. Can two people sit on the bench? Oh yeah, no that's okay. Please. That'll do. Two people. Oh look at them, sneezing away or whatever it is that they're doing. He's cured! Yes! Well done! We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Staff cool. Okay. Yay! Staff announcement! We cured our first patient ever. I feel like... So how much... We've got 177. Our revenue... Oh, oh janitors and maintenance. Okay. We, now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Buyers are generally considered um, bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines. And while you're at it, make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Okay, so let's hire. Whoa, look at the drug mixer. Did you see that spinning around? That was cool. Let's hire a janitor. Let's have a look. Kim Fudge. Oh, a ghost capture. We got ghosts. Yikes. Let's allow, what was this? Allows janitor to upgrade machines. Increased repair and maintenance. I think I might go for Annika Bucket. Oh, somebody just, someone else just came in. I'm going to go for Annika. She's, oh, she got a short temper. But that's okay. We'll go with her. She can clear around. Yes, yeah, so we've got these little tasks up in the right corner that we just need to be getting along with. So let's place two fire extinguishers it wants us to do. Maybe one at the entrance would be a good idea. I feel that would be a good idea. Let's place one there. And then maybe one here. Yeah, there we go. Done. We've got a safe hospital. I've started exploring past lives. Janitors will be called upon to repair a machine when it's maintenance. Oh, I missed it. Was it like 50%? Something like that? Like keeping people happy, it's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks and a comfy seat when they're between appointments. If they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. Okay, so place some nice items. Yeah, so let's make a nice little... Oh, place two benches. It's ask, telling us to make two benches there. But I'm going to make a, a nice little reception area here, I think. So... Let's get some, let's go in items. We need another bench, but I mean, we'll just, I wanted to make, maybe I should have put that desk a bit further back, but that's okay. Let's just go, maybe we'll just put a couple of benches there. And then we also need to place, what does it say? A leaflet stand, a drinks machine and a snacks. So let's, wow, these items are well bigger than I thought they were going to be. Can we fit anything there? Announcement. Not really. It's happening oh, an announcement? What's happening? Nothing is happening. That's what 
Nothing happened. It was just pretending with us. Okay, so maybe just it, maybe I maybe I won't try and make a nice area for this first one. Maybe I'll just place things down. So we've got benches, jinx, snack, my leaflet stand that can go here for them to read. Oh, good news! We've cured five patients. That's good. If you want to pick up an item, hover over it and click and hold the left mouse button. I would like to pick up. Where's she going? Get back on this. Get. Oh, okay. Staff energy and breaks. Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks help, help keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. So. Yeah, so in their like GP's room and the uh, pharmacy and stuff, we could place plants and things, which would be, which would be good for them. But let's quickly place a staff room. Let's just we'll put it up here, hey. Let's just drag it out, and we'll put the door there. Ooh, we can have all sorts of things. Let's go. Nice sofa here. Let's go, a little armchair. Is there a pool table? Like, I hope there's a pool table and things. Um, oh, I think we have to, like, unlock things. Oh, there's, yeah, there's some cool things, but we haven't got access to them. At the moment, we've just got, like, literally nothing, really. Let's put a nice plant in for them. And maybe yeah, let's get them. A, let's get them some machines. So at least they've got. They can get. Although there is, they read these out in the. In the hospital, to be honest, but they might like their own. Let's put an extinguisher in there so they feel safe. And I guess that's all. Maybe they like windows. Looks like the healthcare branch of the holistics company. Oh, window doesn't look into the hospital. Oh, it's got to be like out. Okay. Again. Maybe we don't want... Yeah, I mean, okay, we'll have a window. That's fine. Let's go. Yep, yeah, we like that. Oh, yeah, there's a little thing at the top then that was saying the prestige of it as I was building it. I never never saw that. Right, staff room. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. Note, you can place a member of staff in the staff room to make them take a break or in a work room to make them work there. Just pick up a member of staff, hover over them, and hold the left mouse button. Okay. So, did our receptionist lady... No, she didn't. I thought she was going on a break. Did she change her mind? Oh, Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. Yeah, I'm sure they will. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Dentists will help maintain all of these restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins, and unblocking toilets. So we've now got toilets. Let's add them in, hey? I mean, should we put them? Let's put them at reception, I think. I feel like that would work. 5,600. Yeah, see at the top here, there's prestige. So as I'm adding more things into the room, the prestige goes up. So we'll add, let's do the toilet door there. So you can see at the moment there's no, like the bar on the prestige is, well, it's not pretty empty, it's completely empty. Let's go with these little cubicles. Should we do a couple of cubicles? Yeah, you see the prestige going up as I'm placing more things down? And then we'll add a couple of sinks. Oh, that's too close. Attention. Has anyone seen my pen? <laughs> Has anyone seen my pen? A couple of sinks there. And then we should put a hand dryer over here, I think. And maybe a bin by the hand dryer. And maybe a plant. Is a plant in the toilet a bit minging? I think maybe a plant in the toilet is not. Yeah, I mean, that'll do. That will do. The prestige. Oh, level three prestige. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's Let's do that. There's our toilet. Oh, we need to place two bins. We place one outside, actually, Don't just at the reception area. GP's 
Oh, doctor required in GP's office. Let's put a bin. Can we place it anywhere? Can we place it like just in the room or? Oh yeah, we can. Should we place, let's place a bin. No, I feel like the general public will create much more mess than the GP. Let's do that. Perfect. Now what do we need to do? We need our doctor. Is our doctor chilling out? Oh yeah, he is, look. Oh, further diagnosis. We're, he wait we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. General diagnosis unlocked. Okay. How do we know when they're going to be... Oh, look, on a break. He's feeling energised. Okay. I wanted to, like, understand more about that. Probably it will tell us about that in a little while. But hospital leave. Okay, as you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital... Hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. You, we may need to build more GPs' offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. That's good. So I think I saw before like people had numbers over their heads. Like if we click on, oh, hang on, no, I clicked on the bench. I didn't mean to do that. We hover over a room. No, that doesn't work. Okay, anyway. Let's continue. Let's move on. We need to... Oh, cure two patients. Get hospital to level three. Let's build a... No soiling the hospital. No soiling the hospital. Let's build a general diagnosis room. And... Um, we'll build it over here maybe i don't like the design of this hospital but whatever i don't like that hang on let's go i mean let's just go like that it's a bit of a yeah that'll do this is a terrible hospital oh what's this easy scan got an easy scan there and then oh maybe this room should have been bigger actually Oh, staff promotion. Hang on, we need to go and read those messages. I completely forgot that we had messages that we could read. Let's place that down. And we should probably... Should we put a window in? Make it nice. Oh, look, the prestige level has gone up to level two. We should put a plant in every room to make it nice. A bin? Patients are reminded not to think about <laughs> it. Patients are reminded not to think about it. Right, let's do that. That's good. Hospital level has increased. Perfect. Now we need to... Oh, we cured, cured those people. Let's check out our messages. Item controls. Yeah, that's all good. We'll figure that out. Hospital reputation increases. Each patient cured, but decreases when a treatment fails, especially if they die. Yeah. Staff promotion. Oh, Lucy McCarthy is ready for promotion from intern assistant to junior assistant. Promotion from intern assistant to junior assistant will provide... Plus one training slot, plus ten percent movement speed. Twin, uh, and we're gonna give her a pay rise. I mean, let's promote her. I'm happy to promote her, to be honest. And any bungle from junior doctor to doctor. That's a lot of money. But he, okay, yeah, let's promote them both. That's fine. Let's just promote them. And let's get rid of those messages. Okay, all good. Done. Oh, we've unlocked the ward. The we probably need another doctor, actually. What do you reckon? Because let's, let's get another doctor. Oh. Newsflash. There's a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. That was just what I was going to do, was get some more staff. Do you know what? I'm just going to get Julie. Weak bladder. Yikes. Let's just put Julie in. Let's build a ward, right? Let's build a ward. That's the only room that we've unlocked that we haven't built yet. I think I'm going to do a big ward just right here. There we go. And then... 
Mm, I've I got the door the over there, and then what well, we've got nurse stations and bed. So I think we just need just like one nurse station. Do we just need one screen? Wall. I'm not sure. Maybe we just place one screen there, and then place a couple of beds so more than one person can use the ward. A ward with one person on. It's not really a ward, is it? It's a private. I can't get this the right way around. Ah! There we go. Stay there. One. Two. Oh, maybe we'll just have two at that side. That'll do. Two, and then maybe actually everyone can have a little locker. Is there space? Oh, our doctors have diagnosed a patient with. With what? With bed face? But it requires a ward. I'm I'm on it. I'm building a ward. I'm almost there. People on this side can't have lockers. Because they can have a plant instead. There you go. A plant. And a bin. <laughs> okay. Done. We have a ward. Wards. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them and discharge them when they are ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time, which we did. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room. Ah, in the room settings. This is useful if you have a lot of patients. I don't know how to access the room settings. Do we click on the door or ward... Stats. Oh yeah, look. Oh, that's good. Extra staff. That's quite good. Let's... Okay, we need to hire another nurse. I think we've only got one nurse. Oh yeah, it says underneath how many we've got. I'm just going to go straight away and hire Pat. Used to fish as a child. Oh, but he hasn't since. I wonder why he hasn't. Attention. We need some more benches. Has anyone seen my pen? She keeps asking. She needs to find that pen. <laughs> Let's... We need some more benches. Yeah, definitely. Let's put some... All along here. I'm thinking like, let's do... Let me then spin it round and do like a little... I'm having trouble spinning items. I'm not sure why. The hospital isn't covering its costs. Yikes! That's not good. To not be covering our costs. We have to fire some people or something. Hospital level has increased. That's good. Why can I not turn? It's just not working for me, this, for whatever reason. There we go. Stay there. Stay in that position. I need to move these back. Oh, you see that pickup? That worked. I like that. Pick up. Oh, hang on. Hold it. Hover over it. Oh, you've got to, like, click. Okay, that works. That works. It's not just hover. It's hover and press. Okay. Oh, we've earned 15. Build. Oh, we need to build another GP's office. Terrible things happen every day. And our receptionist has disappeared. Your house. Uh, we need to... Okay, GP's office. Oh, hospital star rating. The two-point health ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of a local area, the hospital will be awarded with an official star rating. This will be great for our organisation. Not only does each star come with associated reward, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one-star rating. We've not even got one star at the moment. Oh my goodness. Right, let's... Ooh, a deluxe clinic. Oh, the lightheadedness. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, let's do another... Maintenance? Oh, we need another maintenance guy then, I think. Let's do... I'm going to do another... GP's office just around the back here, I think. Maybe... No, that'll be too big. I'll just do it like that. I was going to make it... I mean, I suppose it could be that big. It doesn't really matter. Oh, it goes straight to level two because it's such a big room. Let's spin his desk around. There. Give him a filing cabinet back there. Nice plant. Always. We've... I'm going to do a plant in every room. 
maybe a bin and we're good two gps officers perfect wow oh yeah look so our revenue no our revenue is 27 our expenses okay so we must have all of a sudden i didn't sort of realize that that was there but yeah we've done that okay oh kudosh by completing objectives and challenges our organization earns kudosh you can use this to gain access to new items take a look at the item list oh that's what i was looking at before in the staff room any item with a padlock can be unlocked using k best of all we can then purchase that item in any of our hospitals oh that's cool use it wisely so this is like the the special currency in the game we now need to cure three patients with lightheadedness. That means we need to build one of these. I can't remember what it was called. What was it called? A oh, deluxe clinic. A deluxe clinic. We should probably. I want to watch some of the interactions. In oh, it's nurse in general diagnosis. I thought it was a doctor. My mistake. So we've only got we've got two doctors, right? And no two yeah two doctors two nurses maybe we should hire another janitor because somebody said before about plants didn't they so we'll have another janitor wandering around making sure the hospital is spick and span and maybe get another nurse should we get another nurse because we've got three rooms that need nurses what's this 10 percent diagnosis skill and oh award management max is excellent in the ward so do you know what let's put max in the ward we've cured 10 patients and then does this guy wander off yeah this guy wanders off so was that max yeah that's max he's really good My therapist says and done how much work in general right now. wait Anything to replace donald cups hang on collecting traffic donald cups is a doctor right Do you need a nurse and a doctor in the GP, in the general diagnosis room? I don't understand. Oh, whoa. Do you think that's lightheadedness? Okay, that's lightheadedness. We need to build this deluxe clinic. Do you think I can just build a huge one? Over here, how big? Let's just, let's, should we build it huge? Let's build it huge. It's a deluxe clinic. I feel like it has to have some sort of deluxeness about it deluxe console not a deluxe console a deluxe a deluxe oh lux. okay deluxe a lux. there console there partially in ham sandwich who wants one of them we'll place a couple of windows i think my the problem is my mouse i think is on a crazy sensitive setting which is not really helping me to be honest but that's okay let's let's do that and i think i'm happy that's good now we can treat people with lightheadedness is anyone standing up i feel like they've, maybe i've got enough benches there doesn't seem to be no the benches aren't full but good Doctor required in deluxe. Deluxe clinic. oh we're gonna see our first Will somebody come over? Is there a doctor going to come over? Did somebody just die? Oh my goodness, no, it's a ghost. We need a janitor that does ghosts, right? Hang on. Let's, let's put Maisie in by this ghost and see what happens. This is... Whoa. Does that mean somebody died in our hospital? No. That's bad. Patient death. Yeah, oh, sad news. Our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails if they're waiting too long and their health deteriorates. The hospital reputation will suffer as a result. There's also a chance a patient will return to haunt the hospital. If this happens, we'll need a janitor with a ghost capture qualification. Ah. Oh. oh, look, we have too many janitors. When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains the most terrifying part. Sadly, 
this can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging on to life. Not only that, but ghosts are messy blighters, leaving a trail of ectoplasm. They also have a habit of dematerialising and popping up elsewhere. Who should we call? A janitor with a ghost capture qualification, of course. They are fully trained with a later... Okay, so we've got... Uh, we've got one, but then now it says we've got too many... Too many janitors. Which I don't want to be wasting money. Oh, I don't want to be wasting money on janitors if I don't need them, but I, I mean, I feel bad sacking someone. I don't really think I need to sack anyone right now, to be honest. Oh, we're just about to get a bench. Two Point County Healthcare Award Ceremony. Do, 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 do. What's going to happen? Oh, we've got some awards. Let's open. What do we get? What do we get? Oh. The Burp Award for Doctor of the Year goes to Ernie Bungle. Nice. Drum run, please. Let's open. Um, the Burp Award for Nurse of the Year. Donald Cups. Oh, I forgot that Donald Cups was a nurse. <laughs> Thought he was a doctor. Let's see what we got this one. We're going to get Janitor of the Year. Oh, yes. Bungle Meditech. We've got, like, all the prizes. Oh, so we didn't win that one. Okay, we didn't win Janitor. Oh. What's this one for? Employer? Employer. Oh, Hogspot! Yay! We got 5,000 and 5k and 3 reps. So this is good. We've got a couple of... Uh, couple of well, 3 out of 5 isn't bad. Oh, Bungle Meditech. Oh, no deaths. We got a death. At the last... Last moment. Most prestigious. Is it going to be us? Oh, no. The Orb Foundation. We didn't win that one. Oh, patient's Choice. Come on. The Orb Foundation. Okay, we got three out of eight awards. That's not bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not bad. That's cool. I like that. Two point... Is that like every year? I think that's every year. So... What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to buy a bench for over here. I want to just have a little watch of this. Whoa. Oh, let's watch it. Okay. Oh, whoa. He took his um, head off. The light bulb head. And then he's got... <laughs> new head. Perfect. You cured me. <laughs> Right, let's... Oh, he's coming over as well. Let's... I want to watch it from the beginning. We might have too many janitors. Yeah, I know. So he's just got, like, a little light bulb on his head. He goes and has a little sit down. Or she. I suppose we can't really tell, can we? <laughs> like, unscrews him. And then creates this new head. That's a bit crazy. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Out here, we should get a, a bench for them. Bench. There you go. You can sit down, guy. Although you are about to go in and be cured. He looks very happy. Maybe the the janitor that isn't... Is the, are these the janitors? They look a bit swanky, right? Intern janitor. Oh, he's looking for work? Oh, he's looking for work. I was, I was thinking he was, like, looking for a job somewhere. You know, he was looking for work. Okay, maybe we need to sack a janitor because there's nothing for them to do. Or maybe we should, actually, maybe we should place some plants and things down for them to do. And then, oh, we got a letter. Uh, dear hospital administrator, one star... Oh, yes, congratulations. Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. There's one out of a possible three. That's one out of a possible three. That's one of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogspot for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and expand and begin to expand your organisation by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. Okay. I am going to leave it here. I want you to let me know down below in the comments, should we go over to Lower Bullocks or should we continue? Oh, we've unlocked Lower Bullocks and Lightheaded Poster. 
we uh, we can either continue at this hospital and just learn a little bit more or we can go over to lower bollocks let me know what you would like me to do down below in the comments it's a cool game i really do like it very kind of simple graphics are simple but i really really like it i'm looking forward to delving into it more like i say it is available on steam with 10 percent off at the moment so if you want it i definitely recommend go over and get it whilst it is discounted but thank you so much for watching i hope you are looking forward to this series as much as i am i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye